Hello and welcome to another GCSE revision video. In this video we're going to be comparing fractions and decimals. Now we can think of decimals as fractions. If we remember our hundreds, tens and units, immediately after the decimal point we've got our tenths and immediately to the right of that we've got our hundredths and immediately to the right of that we've got our thousandths and our ten thousandths. So 0.75 can be thought of as 0 times 1 plus 7 times 1 tenth plus 5 times 1 hundredth. But since 0 times 1 is 0 and 7 times 1 tenth is the same as 7 tenths and 5 times 1 hundredth is the same as 5 hundredths, that means 0.75 can be thought of as 7 tenths plus 5 hundredths, which is 70 hundredths plus 5 hundredths, which is 75 hundredths, which simplifies to 3 quarters. A simpler way is just simply to multiply by 10 and then divide by 10. So you've got 0 0.3 is the same as 0 0.3 times 10 over 10 which is the same as 3 over 10, or 3 tenths. Or if there are two decimal places, we just multiply by 100 and divide by 100. So 0.33 is the same as 0.33 times 100 over 100, which is 33 over 100. Again, if we've got three decimal places, we just multiply by 1,000 and divide by 1,000, and so on and so forth. But what happens if the decimal places go on forever? Well here, algebra comes to the rescue. If we take, say, 0 0.33333, where the 3's go on forever, if we call that value y, and then we multiply y by 10, then 10y is 3.33333 going on forever. Remember to multiply by 10 we just move the decimal point one place to the right. Now this only works because the threes go on forever. So we haven't lost a three anywhere. We have multiplied by three but at the end of that recurring sequence the threes will still carry on forever. So the chain of threes at the end of the three point is the same length as the chain of threes at the end of the zero point. So because the threes go on forever, if we subtract 10y, so if we take 10y and we subtract y from 10y, we end up with just the three, and all of those point three 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 threes all cancel out. So we've got three minus zero is three, 3 minus 3 is 0, 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 and so on for infinity. So we've got a 3, a decimal point, and an infinite number of zeros. Well, a 3, a decimal point, and an infinite number of zeros is just the same as the number 3. So we've actually got 10y minus y, which is 9y, is equal to 3. Well, if 9y is equal to 3, then dividing both sides by 9, we get y is equal to 3 ninths, which cancels down to 1 third. So 0 0.33333, where the 3s go on forever, is the same as 1 third. Going the other way and converting fractions to decimals... All we have to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. So 3 quarters is the same as 3 divided by 4, which is 0 0.75. OK, then, so much for the theory. Let's have a go at putting this into practice. Uh, let's convert 1 sixth to a decimal. Well, all we do is divide 1 by 6. Well, 6 into 1 won't go, so that's 0. 0 times 6 is 0. We need to put in our decimal points.
and then we can take away so 0 from 1 is 1 we can bring down the 0 so how many times will 6 go into 10 well that's once so 1 times 6 is 6 and we take that away and that leaves 4 again we can put another 0 in and bring that down so we've got 6 into 40 well that will go 6 times 6 times 6 is 36 and 36 taken away from 40 is 4 put in another 0 bring down the 0 and we've got 6 into 40 again well we know that's going to be 6 6 times 6 is 36 take that away and that leaves another 4 and then we put in another 0 and bring that down and we've got 6 into 40 again we're stuck in a loop here we're just going to get 6's all the time so 1 6 is equal to 0 0.1 6 6 6 6 recurring and the 6's are going to go on forever okay so going the other way let's try finding out what um, 0 0.166 recurring is let's say that that's equal to y now we can't just multiply by 10 because that would give us actually we can just multiply by 10 so let's do that so that's equal to 1 point six 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 recurring is equal to ten y and what happens when we take these away well that leaves us with one so zero from one is one point that becomes a five and then all of these become zeros so six from six is zero six from six is zero remember the sixes go on forever so we're just left with 1.5 is equal to 9y. Okay, so y is equal to 1.5 divided by 9. Well, if I try to simplify this, I can double top and bottom so that's equal to 3 over 18 and now I know that 18 will go into 3 because 18 is equal to 3 times 6 so that's equal to 3 over 3 times 6 the 3's cancel and I'm left with 1 over 6 okay well that's fairly straightforward let's try another example okay let's try something like 0 0.252525 where we've got a repetition but they're repeating every two digits instead of every one digit well in this case instead of multiplying by 10 we multiply by 100 So in this case, 25.2525. And again, the two fives will go on forever. And this only works if they go on forever. Is equal to 100y. And now when we subtract them, we get 25 is equal to 99y. So y is equal to 25 over 99 will that simplify let's check that's equal to well 25 is 5 squared or 5 times 5 and 99 is 9 times 11 which is 3 squared times 11 
they have no common factors so 25 over 99 is already a fraction reduced to its simplest form okay let's have one more example okay I'm going to try another one and this one's going to be really good it's 3.1 four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine and that's all the digits that I memorized pi to it's actually equal to pi which is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter those numbers do go on forever, but they do not repeat. Since they don't repeat, we can't multiply by a hundred, we can't multiply by a thousand, we can't multiply by a million, we can't multiply by a billion, we can't multiply by a, a quadrillion or whatever. There is no number big enough that we can multiply by to get these numbers to become recurring decimals. So this number is said to be irrational an irrational number is a decimal number that cannot be converted to a fraction like a over b where both a and b are whole numbers so just be aware that not all numbers can be converted to fractions. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, why don't you have a go yourself at converting some fractions to decimals and back again? I'd like to wish you all the best with your revision and all the best with your exams, and I'll see you in a future video.